Jackpot Digital is a leading electronic table game manufacturer and mobile gaming provider for the cruise ship and onshore regulated casino industry. As a positive disruptor in the space, the company's flagship product, Jackpot Blitz, is essentially a digital smart table, which brings the social benefits of multiplayer casino games, such as poker, blackjack, baccarat, into the digital era. The 84-inch 4K touchscreen creates a stunning player experience while controlling costs and maximizing operator efficiency, flexibility, and profitability. The company's proprietary GLI certified software and hardware serve as a springboard to easily launch new gaming products for casinos or online. Hi guys, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Jackpot Digital Inc., Jake Kalpakian. How you doing today, Jake? I'm doing fine, Rich, thanks. Excited to have you on the show today. Maybe, Jake, you can start by telling us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Jackpot Digital Inc. Rich, I founded the company 20 years ago. We got into the online gaming. We specifically worked on online poker before it became a, a big hit. And we worked on multiplayer games. So we kept building a library of games. So we started off with in the internet and then we expanded and, and turned or pivoted into the land-based industry on the casino side. Fantastic. And can you go through some of the milestones that were hit in the first six months of 2021 and what the main goals are for the remaining months of 2021 for Jackpot Digital Inc.? Well, we've continued to uh, expand our facilities, our infrastructure to be able to uh, increase our distribution uh, abilities. We, ha- we build the Jackpot Blitz electronic poker table. We're the global leaders in that product. And what we wanted to do was make sure that we build as, as much infrastructure as possible to meet the demand. And we've been able to do that. We've, uh, and we've been in continuing to add to the product itself. The, the next six months, we'll be working on more product, more games that we're building, more content. And we should also have what I call G- what we call GLI certification, which means those games then can be offered at the land-based casino level. Very good. Can you also run through the team at Jackpot Digital Inc. and what each member brings to the table? Well, we have a lot of continuity, uh, both at the management and at the uh, board level. Uh, first of all, the, many of the board members have been uh, involved with the company since its inception. Uh, more importantly, on the management side, we have guys that are from within the industry, and we're very excited to have them continue to build on that knowledge. But really, the real strength of the company comes from our programming unit. Uh, there's a lot of programmers here that have been here for a long time that have been building content. And so while we might not be as big as other teams, the fact that we've had a lot of continuity with the same programmers, they understand the product really well, we've been able to bring, build product much quicker and much more uh, elaborate product. And in fact, uh, you know, we, we do have what I would call the global leading product in our field uh, in the electronic ETG space. That sounds really exciting. Jay, can you give our viewers an idea of how Jackpot Digital Inc. tries to expand its electronic games into different casinos and cruise ships and what the projected revenue is for the next two years? Well, we very much a believer of being first or second in a particular product that we build. In our case, we're first and we almost have what I call a Goldilocks opportunity we are the global leaders, and there's really no one else out there challenging us in, in any ways. What we want to do is build product that no one else is doing. And that's why we got into DLS electronic poker table games. And we, what we built is really a smart table disguised as a poker table. The reality is it's a giant 84-inch iPad or I, iPhone disguised as a poker table, and we keep adding content. And we add content that is popular with poker players that is popular with other casino games that uh, with, with players that for other casino games that not necessarily you find so easily. So what we want to do is build the box and just keep adding content to it. And what we want to do is concentrate on multiplayer games. For instance, poker is a perfect example, but in Asia games like big two or fight the landlord or Chinese poker, but those are just added content. Our, we, what we want to do is strive to have the best poker uh, experience for the players and what we've, we've been able to do that the technology has come such a long way it simulates a real poker game it just doesn't have a dealer but 
for for all concerned, it's better. You make more money if you're the operator per hour because you can do many more hands per hour. And you can also uh, just add much more content or have much more revenue streams from, you know, side bets, et cetera. Do you have a projected idea of what the revenue will look like in the next two years? We expect some uh, significant hockey stick growth. Uh, we are very excited about the revenue growth. We think our sales are going to go, just judging from uh, the interest for the product that's ramped up simply because of COVID and for other reasons within the industry with electronic table games becoming more and more popular, we feel we will have a substantially higher uh, revenue over the next couple of years. The orders are piling up in our pipeline. We have a very impressive uh, blue chip roster of, of clients from the land base level and our unique position in the industry should drive even or accelerate our growth a lot quicker for, for the average investor. Very good. If, if Jackpot Digital Inc. were to compare itself to its competitors in the electronic gaming sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? Well, the fact that we're the only ones doing what we're doing, we're a positive disruptor. We, uh, I, I can't stress the fact that, uh, you know, there's no one else doing what we do. We've got such a global footprint, uh, the opportunity to really create uh, a leadership uh, advantage that will probably hopefully never be challenged but the fact is we built unique games we want to be um, innovative uh, and I would have to say besides being the positive disruptor it's all about innovation 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 we keep building games that you just can't find out in the marketplace for instance we're looking at building a lot of different uh, geographic or regional games uh, that are very popular in those regions but can't be found on the casino floor, but are played many times for real money at home. You'll be able to do that on our tables. And so innovation is absolutely what I would call us, what, what I would say is what sets us apart. And just look at the product, the jackpot blitz. It, it, like I said, it's really a, a smart table disguised as a gaming table. Sounds very exciting. And here at Rich TV Live, we love to understand the fundamentals of the company. We really break down the share structure. Can you go through the share structure for our viewers and how the company plans to attract more institutional alongside its retail investors? Well, what we're seeing now is more and more interest from the retail side, but also the institutional side. We are now working with a couple of firms that are looking at uh, taking us on road shows down the road for institutional uh, uh, meetings, but our, our market cap is only approximately $15 million. So wow. we're still very, very small. We have lots of room to grow. That, the fact is we're a very innovative company with a lot of room to grow. We're very inex inexpensive compared to our peers that are in the space, but building different products. The, the key is that we're building product that really no one else is doing. And that's our focus. From the from, we, we, we trade both in the U.S. and Canada, and what we do see is uh, uptick in interest uh, sentiment and investment sentiment and, and, and investors asking for more information all the time. I think within the next year, year and a half, if not a lot sooner, uh, that will be uh, investment uh, juggernaut just simply because of our unique position in the industry. If there was one thing that you'd want shareholders to know about Jackpot Digital Inc. today, what would that be? Innovation, innovation, innovation. Our goal is to expand our global footprint as soon as possible, as pragmatically as possible. But it's always led by innovation and building product that simply is popular, but just is not specifically out there right now. Uh, that we know that people play these games but uh, there's only so much floor space on a casino. But with our tables, you're able to offer multiple games using the same product. And uh, that is, is done through innovation. And what we want to be is a multiplayer uh, go-to product. And I think we've done that. And I think we're well on our way of becoming an um, industry darling. What is the best way for shareholders to get in touch with the company if they had any questions? We've got investors from all over the world that will see this interview, that will be learning about your company. A lot of them are going to have questions. What is the best way for them to get in contact with you? Is there an email address, a website yes. they should reach? The website is www.jackpotdigital.com. There's a specific uh, section for the investors. They can always contact me directly by email as well. The information is there. But as I said, we have an a investment team or investment relations program um, yeah, manager that will handle all those inquiries. And they're always welcome to 
contact me. Again, that website is www.jackpotdigital.com. It has all the information they would require. And of course, there's many videos, et cetera, that whatever you, you need should be there. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone who's watching that if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. In saying that, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on the show. We do believe this is a company that's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. I haven't seen that many people talk about it yet on YouTube. So we love to be the first to bring this to your attention. Put it on your watch list. Put on your radar. Like we said, we love to find undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies before they explode. And we think Jackpot Digital Inc. is one that everyone should be watching. Thank you so much, the CEO of Jackpot Digital Inc., Jake Kalpakian. Thank you for joining us today, Jake. Thank you, Rich. Always a pleasure. Love to invite you back. Anytime you have big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, we'd love to invite you back on the show. And for those of you guys that are watching, thank you for watching, everybody, and have a nice day.